It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And coming up, we'll see Justin Jefferson. He's one of the league's best, currently third in the NFL in receiving yards. It's the Vikings in the Pats, under the lights on Thursday night. As this crowd rolled into U.S. Bank Stadium, they were bundled up. Jackets and scarves downright cold outside on this November evening. But all good here inside as we welcome you to Minneapolis, Minnesota. Tonight it's the final morsel in our Thanksgiving feast, and we've got a good one in store between the New England Patriots and the Minnesota Vikings. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you look at our visitors coming into play here. They know coming in, they've got to be at their best because they're facing one of the better overall defenses in the NFL. And this is not one of the better offenses around in terms of running the football. So they understand that they're going to be put to the test a bit. The big plays in the run game, they haven't been there in play. So maybe that means we'll see them shake things up a little bit. Some RPOs, some touch passes, some draw plays, anything to try and gain a little bit of momentum. Time to set the old turducken aside and get ready for football as here we go on a Thanksgiving night. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. Now we get a first look at this Patriots offense and, of course, leading them for his second season. Last year's Rookie of the Year runner-up out of Alabama, Mac Jones. Would you say that last week's performance by him, workmanlike in terms yeah. of numbers? One touchdown, one pick, but obviously a loss. Yeah, and that's the bottom line for him. All he cares about is how do we find a way to win the game. Maybe he leans on a few other parts of the offense and hopefully springs a receiver or two free. They'll run with a former member of the Crimson Tide, Damian Harris. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. After the loss to start out here, second and 11. Back to throw. Jones. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Third play here this opening are up against a third and five. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. So a good punt, but a solid 12-yard return. And the Vikings will take over here first and ten. The Vikings offense coming out for the first time and in his fifth season leading this crew, coming off his third career Pro Bowl nod, Kirk Cousins. Not bad for a fourth-round draft pick. Well over 100 career starts now. And the chemistry with his top targets, really on point. They spent a lot of time in practice and after practice making sure the routes are run well, and he knows exactly where they're going to be on the field. And when they get open, he delivers. On first and ten, Cousins. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and ten. Cousins throw pulled in by Jefferson. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now the first carry for Dalvin Cook. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. On third down, Cousins. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Coverage is awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. The kick by Joseph is good. And the Vikings have a 3-0 lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this 
this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell us end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Jones now on first and 10. Looking sideline and complete. Well, once again, from all of us at EA Sports, happy Thanksgiving. Hope everybody's had a fantastic day on the couch, belt unbuckled, feet up. This, of course, the nightcap to a great day of football here this Thanksgiving holiday 2022. Here's Jones to throw on third down. And it's going to be knocked away and incomplete. I love those corners who could not only cover, but don't mind getting a little physical as well. How about the coverage on that play, knocking that pass away? Yeah, the punter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. Fielded at the 43. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Vikings will be set up well as they take over a great field position. First and 10. Cousins on first down. Complete Jefferson the target. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. They get 14 there. First down, Vikings. Second quarter now from Minnesota. It's the Vikings in possession of the football. As they've got it with a first and 10. Play fake. Cousins. That is caught by Thielen. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now left side on the swing pass. Showed off the toughness, but still corralled shy of the five at the six. From the six now on second and three. And he's got it. Touchdown, Vikings. Delvin Cook, his sixth touchdown of the season. As his guys are able to extend their lead. CD, you know he's got great options of wide receiver tight end, but there he looks in the backfield and it results in a touchdown. I love how you laid that out. So many options. You maybe forget about some of the ones that you should be covering. And they made him pay with that one, didn't they? You forget about the guys in the backfield, they're eligible too. Joseph connects on the extra point. And the lead grows to 10 now. Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And it will come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. New England's offense set to go. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Throwing Jones. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now Jones. Over the middle, he's got Myers. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Now Jones on third and two. Looking for Aguilar, and it's intercepted. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Uh, CD, I think they were in nickel that time, which we see so often in today's NFL. And there it helped them net their first pick six of the contest. Nice eyes, good observation there, partner. You nailed it. This is a defense that likes to mix up and disguise coverages, but it did end up being one of their main packages, the nickel, that pulled them that time. And they made the most of the miscue with a nice return.
Joseph on for the extra point. He's got it, and it's 17-0. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will not be returned. It will come out to the 25. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and 10. Jones, another shot here after the pick six. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones. Looking left sideline, incomplete. Well, I think it's high time to get him some passes that he's comfortable with. Some easy throws, some completions. He's not even hitting the 50% thus far. Well, certainly that has played a big role in why they are trailing right now. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Here's Jake Bailey now. That's pulled in at the 32. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and it will be Vikings ball first and 10. Here comes Kirk Cousins now to lead his offense back out there. And he had the touchdown on the last drive, also four for four. Very, very effective. What does he need to do to translate that forward into this drive? Not think that what he saw in coverages last time is exactly what he's going to get again. He's got to play ahead and start, and start thinking to himself, okay, we just did that. What are they going to take away now? What do we go to as a counter and continue to encourage his offensive line to continue to give him time? They were really good on the last drive. Forced out to his left. He's got a man complete. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Cousins now to throw on first down. Being chased out left. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Back in the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. No, no surprise there. He was looking for one of his favorite targets again as soon as he left the pocket. But the coverage was good downfield. They got right to the receiver and helped prevent that completion. On second down, Cook. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. And he'll get it. Touchdown, Minnesota! Dalvin Cook in the final seconds of the first half. And the Vikings continue to pull away here in this first half. Joseph connects on the extra point. And the round is on here in this first half. So not much time to work with here. Nine seconds remain in the half as this one is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Pats at the line ready to go. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. So halftime over, no problem with us. We skip right to the third quarter and continue this midseason contest. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So here are the Vikings to take over. Their win streak at six coming in and counting as they've got the lead right now beginning this drive first and ten. Starting the third quarter with Cook. 
And he is going to lose yardage here. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Meanwhile, Cousins throw there taken in by Smith. And quickly they get to the line. Cousins on third and two. And he's got his tight end. That's Smith. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Cousins. Complete. Smith has it. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And it'll be second down. And coach is always hard on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come up and put a head on him, do they? And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. They run again on first down. Cook. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Final minute now in the third quarter. To throw on second and six. Cousins. It's caught. Smith. And they'll get this down to the 10. Four catches now on this drive alone. They can't stop him. It's another first down. Goes right back to Smith again. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. To throw again on second down. Cousins. And it's caught. Touchdown. Earl Smith Jr. His first touchdown on the air. Vikings take the opening kickoff in the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. They're on the other sideline right now, it's just absolute dejection. But Charles, let's focus on the positive. With the lead that they've built here, they've done pretty much everything to perfection in this ball game. They certainly have. It makes me think that their week of preparation was excellent. And they flowed into this game and it carried over. And right now, I don't expect them to back off at all. They're playing so well, they just want to keep it going. Joseph connects on the extra point, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The Pats at the line ready to go. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. Let's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And partner, you know as that team gathers, they send each other. You never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead. And we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Looking to throw. Jones. His throw incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes. You can read his hands. And you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. And that allows you to make a play on it. And oftentimes, not get away. Try it here. He's back to throw. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. First and Stevenson. Oh, he's going absolutely nowhere as he is hit behind the line. Now whistles and a timeout. Looks like we've got a Viking slow to get up. It's second and goal. Back to the eight-yard line now. Back to throw. Jones. This is caught. 
And he's across for the touchdown. Too little, too late. But he does get in for six. No wonder you're grinning. You just beat me in our fantasy league. Indeed I did, my good man. Full connects on the extra point. And the lead is down to 24. That time, a six-play drive. And Devontae Parker able to finish it off with a touchdown reception. And the Vikings able to recover. The hands team does its job. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation. And now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But, yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Again, it's Cook. Oh, right, fine work there as he gets this thing down to the 11-yard line. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Got his tight end. That's complete. That's Smith. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is over. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total. But all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Joseph now to have the PAT. He's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. The drive there only spanning three plays, and it's polished off by a Viking score. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. New England trying to get a place on offense. And you see a lot of frustrated faces as they are inching closer to a fourth straight loss. Jones throwing to start the drive. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Meanwhile, Jones throw here taken in by Parker. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Back to throw now on first down. That's caught by Myers. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Oh, he was looking for Parker, but it's intercepted. Andrew Booth picks it off. And the Vikings are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Cousins here to throw. He's going to find Jefferson open downfield. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. On play action, Cousins. And this one right back into the hands of Jefferson. And they are going to score again. Another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. And certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling the pain right now because he has absolutely carved up the secondary a clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Joseph connects on the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And there will not be a return here. 
gets a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try to hit the reset button starting tomorrow. And oh, he coughed it up, and the Vikings pick up the football. And he's got Rome powering his way forward. And that will write a finish to this ball game. The partner under the lights in prime time. This offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere, with all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up, and they show up. So for Minnesota, they keep pace in the playoff race as they move to 8-3 and three on the year. And they'll get a few extra days to get ready for next week where they take on the New York Jets. Meanwhile, for New England, it's starting to look like it won't be their year as they drop to 5-6. and six. And they will get a home date next week as they will take on the Buffalo Bills.